Two Minnesota veterans are making a canoe trip all the way down the Mississippi River. Their own experiences led them to raise awareness and money for stop soldier suicide, and they're getting a lot of help along the way. Fox 9's Corn Hoggart caught up to the team in Crow Wing County to learn more about the trip and its purpose. Frank Lashinsky breathed a sigh of relief as he crossed under the bridge and saw the day's finish line after more than six hours of paddling. Dave Hardy got his canoeing counterparts onto the shore where they joined the two soldiers who travel with them every day. But they're my lead team. Lauren Daigle's ashes are in a vial. Hardy's son David's ashes are in a 50 caliber bullet. Call on the 9th of April that, you know, he had just shot himself. Both young Minnesota veterans died by suicide. A Brown University study found veterans are 57% more likely to commit suicide than civilians. And it's even worse among those who've served since 9-11. So Hardy and Lashinsky decided to carry out this new mission to raise awareness about the struggle for people who've served. As a legacy to my son, just to, so we can hopefully prevent somebody else from having to go through the same, th same things that I'm going through as a dad. So. Every stroke of the paddle on this 2,350 mile trip creates a ripple to raise money for stop soldier suicide. They're just finishing up 26 miles here on Monday, but this journey is just getting started. There's still more than 2,000 miles to go before they reach the mouth of the Mississippi, south of New Orleans. The team has gone slowly so far, with the river twisting and turning and staying fairly shallow, but it's starting to get deeper and speed up. Lashinsky's in the canoe every day, but his partners change. Itasca County Sheriff Joe Dasevich took a paddle Monday. On Tuesday, someone new will join him. Hardy stays on the roads providing support and making sure Lauren and David are always along for the ride. I know he would have been uh, he would have been proud of what I'm doing. Hardy maintains a Facebook page called Mississippi River Paddle for Stop Soldier Suicide where he can follow their progress and if you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, you can call 988 for help. Corin Hoggart, Fox 9. Heavy heart, but what an adventure, huh? Yeah, and, and what a great service they're doing for others yeah. to spread the word and help.